welcome viewers to the second episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. So if you haven't seen the first episode please check out on our YouTube channel or in the application that I encourage you to download. In the application you'll be able to see all the videos that are grouped well and also you'll be able to find past papers and test yourself using the exam past paper based quizzes. Remember, practice makes it permanent. And the difference between those who get 6 points and those who get above 10 points is in practice. Practice makes it permanent. So question 2 elides, given that matrix K, open bracket, the first column 8, 1, second column 9x and x. Find Loma number 1, value of x for which the determinant of k is 2. Loma number 2, inverse of k. So if you are given a matrix, say A equals the first column A, B, then second column C, D, like this. So when you ask to find the determinant of A, we are doing a times D, which is A D minus, then B times C, which is B C. This is the determinant of a matrix. Now let us see the matrix that we are given. So given this matrix, then we know that the determinant of this. So is to multiply this one, then subtract 1 times 9x, then equate that to 2, then solve for x. That's what we are supposed to do. So we have 8, 1, 9, x, then x. Then what we do is 8 times x, which is 8x, then minus 1 times 9x, which is 9x, must equal to what we have is the determinant. And what is that determinant? That determinant is a 2 from the equation. From the question, so what we have is 8x minus 9x is negative x is equal to 2. Then we just multiply by negative 1, multiply by negative 1. So this tells me that x now equals negative 2. So the value of x is equal to negative 2. So this is a1. Then let us find a2. Once we find a1, then you get these two marks. Let us find A2. We are looking for the inverse of K. So now because we already know the determinant, finding the inverse becomes relative easy. So the first thing is let us find the, the K matrix itself. So we have 2, 2, then we have 8, 1, so negative 2 times 9, so whatever there is x, we are replacing with negative 2. So this will give me negative 18. I'm using a different cast to emphasize. Then whatever there is x, we put negative 2 because we've substituted. So this is k. Now, having found what k is, we need to find the inverse. So again, to find the inverse, I'm going to give you the generic formula so that you understand the principle. I treasure people understanding the principles. So, given this matrix, to find the inverse, which is A like this, to the power negative 1, the inverse is 1 over determinant of A, then multiply by, what we do is, now we swap these. Then, so it will be, wherever there is A, we are going to put D, then whatever there is in D, we are going to put M. Then we negate the other two. So minus B, minus C. This is the principle that we use. So using this principle, we can find the K inverse now equals what is the determinant of K is 2. So it's 1 over 2. Then this matrix, whatever there is 8, we are going to put now negative 2. So this will be negative 2. We are swapping. 
we are using the original came then this becomes 8 then this becomes in positive 18 because we are negating it then this becomes negative 1 like this then at this point we simplify these we are going to simplify because we have a 2 outside which is multiplying so to simplify this what we do now we are going to have k inverse equals so it will be now half times what is in the bracket so half times negative 2 you see negative 1 then this will become negative half because here then half times 9 half times 18 is 9 half times 8 is 4 so we end up with 9 then 4 so this is the inverse of k once you do this you are good to go and you get those 4 marks so let us move to question b a survey carried out in a certain district showed that out of 215 teachers, 170 taught mathematics, 100 taught additional mathematics, 41 taught computer studies, 65 taught mathematics and additional mathematics, 30 taught additional mathematics and computer sciences, 26 taught computer sciences and mathematics, and the 21 taught all the three subjects. Loma numeral 1, illustrate this information in a Venn diagram. Loma numeral 2, how many teachers taught A, none of the subjects carried out in the survey, B, additional mathematics or computer studies but not mathematics, C, two subjects only. So, this question again always comes. So, the first thing that we need to do is, let us create space. So, we have three subjects that are being taught. So we have mathematics, additional mathematics, and computer studies. These are the three subjects that are being taught. So we are going to draw three sets like this. So let me call this one to be Adima. Then this will be computer studies. Then this will be maths. And then this is the Venn diagram. We have that. So, once you identify this, then you just start now feeding. So, always start at the center. Start at the center. What is common to all the three sets? So, we know that 21. We are told that 21 taught all the three subjects. So, 21 should be at the center. So, 21 is in here. Once you do that, you then you are in the right direction. Number two, we can go now to the intersections. So, from here, I can see, let me start now going line by line. We we'll start with the middle, then we go outside, slow by slow. So, a survey carried in the district that we have 215 teachers in total. We know that 170 taught mathematics, 100 taught additional mathematics, then 41 taught computer studies. So, we'll come back to that. Then, let us start now from where the intersection starts. 65 taught mathematics and the additional mathematics. So, when you go to the intersection between Adima and, and Maths, we need to have 65. This all part, this all part should be 65. But we already have 21. So, it will be 65 minus 21. We have 4, then we have 44. So, 44 taught only the Adima and Maths, but not computer studies. Because... In this 65, we have 21 who taught all the three subjects. So, you need to take it out from there. So, that here we are going to have 44. So, this is 44. So, that we have 21 plus 44 will give us 65. It's the same principle that we are going to use for the other ones. 30 taught additional mathematics and computer studies. So, we have 30. So, we go to computer studies and the additional mathematics. So it will be 30 minus 21 that we know already we are going to have 9. So meaning here it will be 9 so that you, when you have 21, which is this one, 21 plus 9, we we'll get 30. Then we go to computer studies and the maths. 
So computer studies and the mathematics. 26 taught computer studies and the mathematics. We come here. So this intersection, this one, the whole of this is 26. So if the whole of that is 26, what that tells me is I'm going to have 26 minus 21, which is 5. Meaning the one who taught only the computer studies and maths without teaching addition or mathematics, there were 5. Then now we can go outside and start additional mathematics. How many teachers taught additional mathematics? There were 100. So 100 taught additional mathematics. Then we know that the entire set should be 100. But we already have 9 plus 21 plus 44. So I know this is 65 plus 9. I'm going to get 74. So it will be 100 minus 74. I'm going to get 26. So here this is 26. Similarly, you do the same. So if this is 26, let me just lab this. So I need to find now computer studies. So similarly, I, I can go with mathematics. 170 taught mathematics. From this all part, this all part, going all the way this part, this is 70. Meaning 170 minus 70, I'll get 100. So meaning those who taught mathematics on it, they are, they are 100 here. Then computer studies. So computer studies, they were 41. So 41 taught computer studies. So I'll come here and say 9 plus 21, 30 plus 5, they are 35. So, but in total, how many taught computer studies there were 40? So it will be 41 minus 36. I'm going to get a 6 here. So this will be a 6. Because we are taught 41 taught computer studies. Then when you come here and add this, we're going to get 30 plus 5, it will be 35. So we have like that. But what we've not answered is how men are outside the Venn diagram. So we need to see whether all the 215 have been captured. We are told this is 215 in total. So the first thing that we need to do is to sum what we have entered. So we call this value to be 1. So this will be 26 plus 9 plus 6 plus 44 plus 21 plus 5 plus 100. Y will give us 211 once you use the calculator. But the total number is 215. You've seen this 215 teachers? So meaning 215 minus 211, four of them they didn't teach any of these three. So we have four outside. Once you do this, you are good to go and you get these two marks. Loma numero two, how many teachers taught A of Loma numero two, none of the subjects carried out in the survey. So this is where the four becomes the answer. So there we have Loma numero two A is four. So four all of them did not teach any. Then we go to BIM, taught additional mathematics or computer studies, but not mathematics. So we are looking for the intersection between A and B plus outside. So this is ideally the union because of the O. If it was taught additional mathematics and computer studies, it's going to be intersection. But in this case, O, it means it's a union. So we go to this set. So we are only taking out mathematics. So we are taking out this mathematics. So it will be 26 plus 9 plus 6. Because it's O. So you come and add this. So this will be now 26 plus 9 plus 6. Which will give us this will be 41. 
so they were 41 again take note of the language or so all meaning either found in additional mathematics or computer studies but excluding in mathematics so it's a it's additional mathematics union computer studies intersection complement of b so because we're taking out what is in mathematics then last dream which is c so for c we are being asked two subjects on it so when you go to two subjects on it so the two subjects are 44 one let me use a different color so 44 is two subjects which is admand maths then 9 which is admand computer studies then 5 which is in computer studies and in mathematics so you add this to find the c so it will be 44 plus 9 the one of second in black plus 5 which is equal to 58 so this is how you answer this question once you do this you are good to go and you get these five marks I've taken a bit of time because i'm explaining i want you to understand but you should be able to take around 10 minutes or even eight minutes to answer this question thank you please don't forget to download the app it will help you to prepare for your exam efficiently